so part of my lounge so welcome today we're doing something very different we're actually doing some painting um, this is my creative journey remember so self-discovery and painting is one of the aspects I'm exploring um, I've already prepped my guests over the last time so, so let's get started today I'm trying this is my fourth um, paint session so be patient with me it's a journey um, I'm trying different things to explore my mind and to open up the God that is that creative one in me who is leading me and guiding me on this journey so let's get started and black is beautiful black it's beautiful I have a black acid board so we're gonna start off by having the platform um, we're gonna have a bit of blue um, I'll see what blue shade I come up with um, I like to mix paint. I don't just like to go with the traditional color um, given. So, yeah. Um, let's get oh, I was born left handed. Let me give you a bit of fact because some people are wondering why she's using my left hand. Um, I was born left handed, but see, I was born in Nigeria, a very African, West African. Um, country as you know and be very traditional and respect and all that so growing up right to which your left doing it with your left hand is quite insulting giving someone something with your left hand is insulting or raising up your hand with your left hand is not acceptable don't do that um okay things have improved obviously we have expanded our mind and we still expand and that's why we're here today we're expanding our mind further or trying to at least we owe ourselves that um so i was made forced to eat with my left hand right in my left hand right hand rather so i had to switch to my right hand at a very young age. My dad and my mom would take my food if I'm eating my left hand. So it made me a balanced person because I do something to my left hand and some my right hand. My right hand is purely right hand. But you know what? What odd thing about it? I write my right hand. But when I need to, when I had to have to move, I switch over. So some things I'm still instinctively going to my left. So I've decided that painting I'm gonna explore with my original, my innate nature to use my left. Hand. They say also in the brain how the brain works, you tap into more aspects of your left and your right side. Um, so you, you actually turn out to be a bit more creative with this book So since we are trying to be creative, let's do that. Right. Let's, let's get started. So let's mix our paint. I'm going to start with some yellow. I love to start with yellow because yellow is my time color. Um, I mean, given my storyline and my the sun and all that, if you follow my blog and my relationship with the sun. And I'm from Africa, we, and we love our sun. So I'm gonna start with some yellow and mix in some green because I'm a plant mom and I love nature. Let's see what we get. Okay. Well, I'm not getting the shade I want. Maybe let's revert to the book. <laughs> I'm getting a very light. Um, Green, which would be great, but we're trying to stick to the book. So we're gonna start off by drawing and draw the sketch, the outline. And my drawing is a pull-in, but hey, it's a journey. We shall get to the light, the top, where we shine our brightest with a bit of practice. So I'm gonna try to draw the boat. Alright. Ooh, that's a fail already. But hey, give us another try. Yeah. Okay. I start off with a pencil because it might uh, turn out really up bad. So that's the side of the boat. Um, well, it's going to be covered by paint, so I don't have to worry too much about uh, getting it too perfect. Um,
Let me not bore you with my drawing. I'm gonna skip a little bit and come back and show you. Fast forward, obviously. <laughs> I like small pens, so I'm gonna try find number six. Um, this is eight. Well, let's use an eight because we have quite a lot of surface to cover. So let's try an eight. Um, mind you, this is Macab Sav Melo mix. The blender is Delicio. Perfecto. Um, just the right movie. Let's get started with some black. So the black I'm gonna paint directly from black is black, right? So I'm just gonna start getting along with it. I try to create straight strokes. I struggle, well, that's why I said I try to use a, a black pen, um, rather brush, sorry, a small brush, because I really struggle, it's an art, to get the, 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 the dimensions, getting the corners perfectly. Um, that's why you see the, the, the thick brushes, they just go in all directions. So the corners are the most important part. So when you get the corners right, you are uh, good to fire on. I really enjoy doing this by the way, um, it's quite therapeutic, so keeping my mind in a, in a very good place um, where it is firstly in the midst of nature, because that works magic, that's why I'm doing this right here, um, and then it just uh, op opens up ideas, like things just Thoughts come and leave without judgment. It's like a, it's like a meditative state. It's, yeah, so it's a form of meditation for me. Um, so doing this is something I enjoy. It's not a, it's not a chore. <laughs> so you joining me on this is meant to hopefully be. Maybe you might find this an inspiration for you to also try it out. Try something different. Not your. Try new things, explore, learn, grow, evolve, because it's only one life we got. Something about acrylic paint is it dries pretty fast, so we also have to work at quite a quick pace to make sure that um, it doesn't dry while we're still busy. Um, Palettes, I try to cover it most times, but so that to retain the moisture. The moisture keeps the paints wet. If you're almost done with the black base or the boat, so this is meant to be, I suppose, the ocean in black, but it's just as a, it's just, it's just a silhouette, I guess, a silhouette of the boat is a focus. We just put in a boat today. I'm not trying to draw the ocean or paint the ocean. We just uh, the boat is sitting. The boat has just been created, right? So it's sitting in some um, on some ledge. Some, some ledge. Right. It's almost done. Thanks for your patience. So I hope you are enjoying my company. <laughs> and maybe the next time you would also get your paint brush and your board or paper and your gesso in the back and uh, join me and maybe send me what yours looks like because <laughs> it might be 10 times better than mine but hey judge me don't judge me who cares life is for the living okay so you can't really see it right now i hope but you can see maybe the outline is it's black but yeah that's our base done Done. Okay. So that's us done with that. At least for now. Hopefully we don't have to retouch anything, but it's not guaranteed. Okay. We 
can just put this brush here in case we need it in the future. But we, fingers crossed not, fingers crossed. Okay, sip, sip and paint. Just the sip, so we still um, pretty sober to get it right. Mixing in some gray. I always like to put in some yellow and in my paint, but this is quite uh, different. I said I tried out doing things uh, DIY, make mistakes and go ahead, but it was disastrous. So now I am trying to to stick with the book. vision usually doesn't end up being what it might be better it might be worse let's hope for the best see that's the beauty of life right with life everything about it is what it is not it is up to to the gods is up to 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 the to the to, the, to, to that supernatural power divine power is up to karma some call it so you don't have much control and what I've been writing about if you follow my my articles and I hope you do or you start to today is the feeling that you have to be in control when you start out I mean at least I'm speaking for myself life felt like you had to you had to be in control of everything I grew up and obviously life life is hard so you, you end up having this plan this massive plans on how you are going to do this and that and by this age I should be this, by this age I should be child accountant and then I'm a child accountant by the way. Um at this age you should you should you should you should have maybe a first million uh, which I have done by the way. So and then then what next? What next? Are you successful now? Is that your definition of success? Is that your definition of um what you're meant to be your existence? Is that your existence? Um what is the purpose of planning everything to the T when you know that you can't even be promised tomorrow. So these things that take time and it's just ease and you just, as you go with the flow, painting, you might, you might find it's something different to what you imagined, but you keep going, you keep going. Right. like it's looking like something to display. <laughs> it would be. Are you getting the idea? <laughs> Not yet. You'll get there. It will get there. Right? 